Hello everyone, this is Dr. Marrero from Math Topics. This video today is about advanced algebra in the SAT, an important domain for everyone that will be taking the test. We are going to explore all the techniques to solve this type of problems and be successful in the test. Let's do it now. If you have these SAT questions, belongs to the advanced algebra. If you have this question in the SAT, uh, you would like to know what is inside the question. What is the things that I need to know, the skills that I need to know in order to be successful, not only with this question, but with the entire test and get a perfect score. Why not? When you read the problem, you have a function. But it's not written in the way we like it. It's factored. So we have products of parentheses. All of them X's. Also, we read the question, and they said which of the following is not the X-intercept uh, of the graph of this function. And we have four multiple choices. The idea is to move over the multiple choices immediately. Our eyes will be going over the multiple choices. This is what I don't want that you do. I want you to know what is the meaning of the x-intercept. What is the meaning of the notation f of x? And with those two meanings, you will be able to immediately come up with the idea that would allow you to successful and very effective, in a, in a very effective way, to answer the question. What is the x-intercept, visually speaking? Is the point over the x-axis. It's one point over the x-axis. What are the characteristics of the points over the x-axis? Simple. The y value is zero. And this is what is what I call the connection with the notations. So f of x is y. If you know that f of x is y, and you know that the x intercept is a point over the x-axis with a basic characteristics that the y coordinate is zero, you can think in another algebra skills, substitution. So you can substitute f of x, which is y by zero. And you try to solve that big, big expressions in order to find the values of x where the y is zero. Let's do it together, little by little. These three elements, the x-intercept, the function notation, the visualization of the x-intercept, and the substitution are the key elements to answer this question in the SAT or any other question. This is my recommendation, personal recommendation. When you are preparing for the test, we are not taking the test right now. I want you to explore the question. And I want you to explore the following. The elements of the question, the definitions that are in the question, the conceptual mathematics that is present in the question, and then what I called the verb of the question, the action that allow you to answer the question. That verb here is the substitution. You are going to substitute the function notation, the f of x equal y, you're going to replace it by zero. But you replace that by zero and create an equation, or you create a, a group of different equations, and that will take you to the answer. So in mathematics, we have the abstraction. We have the visualization of the concept. We have the conceptual mathematics. But also we have the verb. The verb is what allows you to answer the question. It's the final destination of your thinking process. It's, this is the tool that I need to apply it in order to get the answer. These are the techniques. And this video is uh, targeting does techniques. Our next video will be advanced algebra, a more difficult question. Let's answer the question with those three elements and the verb. 
So I'm going to replace the function by zero. Remember what was the function? I want to see what was the function. The function was f of x equal x plus 4 parentheses times x minus 1 parentheses times 2x minus 3 parentheses. So I'm going to replace the y by 0 because that's the notation of the y. And I know that the format of the x-intercept, the y0, and I have x plus 4, and I have x minus 1, and I have 2x minus 3. This will separate your equation into x plus 4 equals 0, first equation, x minus 1 equals 0, second equation, 2x minus 3 equals 0, last equation. That substitution is the verb, it's the action. So we have x equal negative 4, we have x equal 1, and we have x equal 3 over 2. So 3 over 2, I have it here. x equal 1, I have it here. Um, negative 4, I have it here. So the only one that is not the x-intercept is b, and b is the answer. elements and the verb to get the answer. This is my personal approach for you. Uh, if you like the video, please don't forget to share the video and subscribe to Math Topics. And I have a next video after this, another advanced algebra topic, but this time a little bit more difficult. This is median, median difficulty, two out of three. Thank you for watching.